Hey guys, Matt New Haven Mod of Rarity here. So, I got a bunch of stuff here. Well, not much, but from the flea market I went to today. Um, sorry for the video, you know, not having a lot of them out there. It's just been working a lot, and plus I got my glasses today, which is what really has been hampering on me is having uh, headaches and everything else because I have an astigmatism. So show you what I got at the flea market. I was in Palmer, Mass, and I got a text message on the way up. Hey, your glasses are ready. It's like, oh, great. <laughs> Thanks a lot. So, let me get this stuff out of here. This is a video game. Battlefield 4 for PS3. Got it for like four bucks. Figured why not. So, <clears throat> this is an Amtrak locomotive. It's a Bachman Spectrum. And uh, let me get it out of the package here. I'm using my cell phone. I don't have my mount. So let me get it out of the package here. Alright. As you can see, it's a FPH 40. And uh, of course, all these were made into MT uh, MTBA or MT a uh, up in Massachusetts uh, they also did Caltrain um, stuff like that As you can see there's little people inside you get the engineer and fireman and you can see little strobe lights there it's missing the horn which would be right there this looks exactly like the um, lifelike one that I have but I figured well I'll get another one not that I'm a fan of Spectrum, you know, Bachman brand itself, but I figure why not. It does have a KD number 5 coupler, because there's the spring. And this is the plate that goes over that, and a little screw that goes over that. So let me get that installed here, and I'll be right back. Actually, no, it's probably better to show it on camera what it's like to put these silly things in. Actually, I have a whisker coupler right here. This is what I'll replace it with because I'm not bothering with the... That spring is a pain. There's another good choice word for it, but I won't. <laughs> All right, let me get this out of the package here. And get it ready to be installed. It's got a spring extra fun little tiny things I'll tell you so get the whisker coupler installed there and I gotta do two hands to get this and as you can see that's how the whisker would go in there sorry that I didn't get to show it but you know basically you gotta have screw and that plate together and then you put the whisker in and there you go so this is going to be my first attempt to power on. Actually, I should clean the track. I have my fiberglass pencil. Clean it up a little bit. Make it somewhat better. I mean, in reality, I use a um, scotch Bright pad. The green type. Don't use the black. It scratches it. Green actually uh, cleans it. And it's not as harsh. Or a fiberglass pencil. It works. Gets it clean enough. So here's an attempt to get this running. I believe with those strobes on the top, they'll blink. I don't know. I never had a Spectrum locomotive like this Ooh. yes it does let's put it in reverse oh that's a smooth runner
Let's see if I can just... Interesting how it runs so slow. Oh, there we go. That's why. Okay. So it runs. That's good. It's a nice locomotive. So it has the strobes up top that blink, and then the interior cab light and the front light light up. <clears throat> That's good. That runs. As you can see, that was a back burner locomotive. That's a Tyco Mantua uh, 282 Mikado. I plan on making a video of me stripping the paint off both uh, locomotive and tender and then repaint them and then I can uh, restore the locomotive to operating condition just like the twin that I have of that. I also got a kit car. It says the root of the Phoebe Snow. It's an Ather. That's just not an Ather in Blue Box. I was telling, talking to uh, Harrison about it. SMT Mainline. It's called Front Range Products. Never heard of it. What's that say? Uh, Forms to all standards, NMRA standards. All right, never heard of that company. Cool. And last but not least, the Proto 2000 FB2 unpowered. Ooh, looks just like my uh, um. Uh, it's a Canadian national locomotive that I have, the Sea Liner, and it's a Proto 2000. So it would actually, I mean, granted, it's not a Sea Liner um, loco, it would go with it technically because it's the same color, and it has. Horn hook couplers, which I remember my late grandfather telling me those are called NMRA couplers. They were at that time. And uh, again, I need two hands. Hold on. Wow. For a B unit, this has got some somewhat heft to it. Made in China. Lifelike. But look at it. You can actually add a motor or something to it. Just go to an Athern Blue Box uh, type thing and do that. But look at the oil. Why do they oil something like this? I mean, what? It's just soaked. You can just see it. It's just... I can even feel it. It's, like, nasty. It's all oiled. I'm sure that I'm, I, I would say that the, the people that I bought it from didn't do that. This is how it came because this is brand new in box. You can see the oil remnants. That's just the. But it's got um, some details. Let's look at that for a second here. You got handrails. Nice painted detail. Canadian National. Um, number 9409, got some brake detail, all applied, more handrails and steps, you got the etched grills, for the, um, dynamic brake and stuff, yeah, you can see right through it. See the fan. I think it's, yeah, there's a fan in there. No kidding. Wow. It's really nice. You got the diaphragms that actually move. I have a couple Proto 2000 um, things. They're, uh, got them in a box from 
It was a Facebook Marketplace thing. A lady was getting rid of her father's stuff. He was letting it go. And uh, a couple of the cars that were in it, they were the troop car. I think they were called troop cars or diner cars or something. Kitchen car. And uh, it had the diaphragms that moved. Very nice touch. And the handrails. Very fragile handrails, I can see. Very fragile. You gotta be very careful if you get one of these models. And that's the other side there. Of course, it has dummy knuckle couplers attached, which those will be Katie's. And yeah, that's what I got today, though. Figured to make a video and say, hey, what's going on, and stuff like that. I did make a com uh, community post, but not sure if anybody's seen it. But, uh, yeah, just been busy with work and uh, getting the moped going, which it runs great. It's a beautiful, you know, it's a great thing. It's a 96 Tomos moped. It's made, made in Slovenia. It's two-stroke, and it runs like a brand-new moped. It's got the pedals. They redid the whole thing. And the registration card. Huh. Of course, this would all be Walther's. I don't think they would honor that registration. Tells you how to put the couplers in. So, there you go. Printed in China. Interesting. I wonder when it was made. Doesn't say. I'd say in the late 90s, 2000s. Excuse me. So anyways, that's it for the video. Take care, and uh, see you in the next one there. Oh yeah, real quick, get this. There you go. But anyways, that's it for the video. Take care, everyone. Oh yeah, look, like I said, look forward to getting that that locomotive there, the uh, Tyco Mantua. 282 Mikado. I have two of them. Here is the second one. It's numbered that number there, 4073. That's going to change. And yeah. This, that video is going to get made. I got to paint it. We're going to have good weather. It's been raining a lot. And the humidity is so terrible, so paint will not be a good idea unless I bake it in the sunlight. But anyways, see you later.